Um, okay, so uh, I got whatever was going on atmospheric conditions. Um, I got something coming in about Rembrandt. I'm like, right, okay, so here's how this one goes, because I had to go to, like, it's almost like a chat room box. Like, back in the day, they used to have, like, these stupid chat rooms, and, like, you talk on them. Like, the only time I ever found it useful is when I had my assistant, Donna, and she had a question, and I was either on the phone or I was doing something, and she'd, she'd ask me if she was, like, in Ronkonkoma, and I was in Miller Place. Only time it ever became useful, so I didn't have to keep picking up the phone. But other than that, I really don't find it fucking amusing or useful. Um, it's like a social nightmare. <sighs> um, but again, it's tethered to work. Um, let's think about this. Uh... So Rembrandt, right? Yeah, okay, so star 1978 in this edition of Shitbag Fucking Useless, uh, where they wrote me <laughs> into an isolation cage while they took and studied and stole my script, even though I'm the Johannes Vermeer um, painting of the girl with the pearl earring. All right, so what's a Rembrandt? I don't know. It's a whitening toothpaste, and it's some really shitty band from the 1990s. They sang Friends or, like, uh, I'll Always Be There. I don't know, one of those stupid songs from the 90s that nobody gives a shit about and nobody remembers. Right, yeah, so um, is, are they more important than that? Are they a people? I don't fucking know. I mean, they haven't introduced themselves. If they are important, I wouldn't fucking know. I don't think so. I mean, there's been absolutely nothing since 1978 to year 2021 that has been of any success or any use whatsoever. Just not. I'm an envelope. And there's nothing currently in my envelope at all. So now, um, I'm getting like, I got like, um, almost like, uh, the script was supposed to go in, like, the way of, like, every, like, romantic comedy of, like, you know, you go to some kind of, like, high school or boarding school or whatever, you're supposed to fall in love. Yeah, something along those lines, except I got written out of the script, right? It's a possibility. I don't fucking know. You humans are a bunch of fucking work, and I fucking hate you all. Um, and let's see, right? There's no culture. I mean, like, this is this guy. Here's the thing, like... Um, it's me, uh, my, right, I'm, like, right, I'm the Soviet and my tall Nazi, and it's the holy romance between the two of us, I don't know, like, we joke about that, I'm like, right, you get, but I'm wearing his face, he's wearing mine, it feels weird, uh, and then we've got Grand Cayman, like, he's the third wheel that, like, everybody wishes they had, like, he's the dad that, like, if I could dream up a dad and paintbrush him into reality like he's the sophisticated like quiet guy but like he doesn't always want to be like but if he does then he wants to tell us something I mean he's the most interesting person I've ever found outside of tall handsome um and like go to on like what do you think dad like to bounce something off of right like one person I would never let go of in any time or space um, just cause he's, I don't know, he's out, like, I want to say he's ours, but like, cause he's our, well, I guess he's our third wheel traveling companion of whatever we need a backup on. No, we're real. We know we exist and we know he exists. We've been with him for a while and the rest of you pilot light. I don't know. You've been running a meter, but you haven't been giving in anything. So, I don't really see why, uh, what the fuck's taking so long when I don't owe anybody anything, and they owe me a whole fucking lot, so, using my fucking envelope and not contributing, <laughs> it's like, great, what was the point?